What happened to the leading women who were MJ's iconic music videos, where are they now? These are the women who portray as leading love interest in Michael Jackson's iconic music videos. But what happened to the the leading ladies after they appeared in Michael Jackson? Where are they now? Did they kept in contact with Michael after they stopped shooting the video? Michael Jackson was some of the very first artists who understood the importance of high-budget music videos. Just as his videos were shot like films, he never frowned to hire expensive models. Some of the actresses who worked with him were very famous while some of them being newcomers. He selected them as per their talents, nothing else. I love you. In a series of videos that I will publish from now on we are going to examine one by one the leading ladies who took part in Michael Jackson's videos. I now give a brief overview of the various leading ladies who have lent their image in Michael Jackson's iconic videos over the years, from the thriller era to his untimely death and beyond. Hey! We'll start with Ola Ray. The first leading lady in MJ's iconic music video thriller has been Ola Ray. Thriller was released by Epic Records in the UK in November 1983, and in the US on January 23, 1984, as the seventh and final single from his sixth studio album. The Thriller music video was directed by John Landis and premiered on MTV on December 2, 1983. Tatiana Thompson Tatiana Thompson is a fairly known name in the MJ universe for her controversial actions. In 1987, she appeared opposite Michael in the Way You Make Me Feel music video. Thompson played the leading lady that MJ couldn't keep his hands off of. The Way You Make Me Feel was released by Epic Records on November 9, 1987, as the third single from his seventh studio album, Bad. It was written and composed by Jackson and produced by Quincy Jones and Jackson. Cindera Che Cindera Che portrays as the sexy madam in Michael Jackson's music video Smooth Criminal. In the video, Michael dressed in a white Fandora hat and white suit enters in the club. Everyone at the club including Che glance at Jackson until he starts the music. The video was adapted in Michael's short film Moonwalker. The video, directed by Colin Chilvers, was shot between mid-February and April 1987 at Culver City, California, and in the backlit at Universal Studios Hollywood and premiered internationally on MTV on the night of October 13, 1988. LaToya Jackson Michael Jackson's love interest in the video is played by his sister LaToya Jackson. In fact Jackson flirts with a young woman portrayed by his real-life sister LaToya. The music video, or short film, for Say 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 was filmed in October 1983 and was directed by Bob Giraldi, who had previously directed Michael Jackson's music video for Beat It. Cameo appearances in the video are made by McCartney's then-wife Linda, as well as Jackson's older sister LaToya. Janet Jackson The Jacksons made the ultimate super duo in their 1995 collaboration, Scream. The two went on to win three MTV awards in 95, after snagging 11 nominations. Scream was released as the lead single off his ninth album history, Past, Present and Future, Book 1.IT is a duet with his younger sister Janet, and was released as a double A-side with Childhood, a solo song by Michael. The single was released on May 29, 1995. Sybil Azza Sybil Azza was the model in the music video of Blood on the Dance Floor. Playing the character of Susie, she did a pretty good job. The video for Blood on the Dance Floor premiered on Top of the Pops. It centered on Susie seducing Jackson in a courtship dance, before opening a switchblade. Yasmin Laban You may not know who she is but you have seen the music video Who Is It? Yasmin portrays as the main girl in Michael Jackson music video she acted as the mistress who was cheating on her love interest, Michael Jackson. Directed by David Fincher, the accompanying music video for Who Is It was released in 1992. The music video was filmed in Los Angeles, California and the helicopter scene in the video was filmed at the Neverland Ranch. Iman Iman slayed her role as an Egyptian queen in Jackson's video, Remember the Time which was released by Epic Records on January 14, 1992. 
The accompanying music video for Remember the Time was filmed in January 1992 at the Universal Studios Hollywood backlit. Jackson appears in the video as a hooded wizard who enters an Egyptian palace and attempts to entertain the pharaoh's bored queen, Iman. Lisa Marie Presley Isham, 64, was the director for Jackson's You Are Not Alone video, which was released in 1995. Presley starred as the leading lady. Presley and Jackson, who married in 1994 before divorcing two years later, were very much in love while filming the video for the Grammy-nominated hit. Lisa Marie Presley and Michael Jackson's romance was the real thing, so says the director for Jackson's You Are Not Alone hit. You Are Not Alone is a song from Michael Jackson's ninth studio album, History, Past, Present and Future, 1995. It was released on August 15, 1995, as the second single from the album. Naomi Campbell Naomi Campbell is a supermodel now in her 50s. Besides being one of the most famous models of all time, she also did a music video with Michael Jackson. Any guesses? Yeep, it was in the closet. The music video was a bit different than MJ's other videos, but Naomi's presence made it divine. In the Closet was released on April 9, 1992, as the third single from his eighth album, Dangerous, 1991. Kelly Parker Kelly Parker was a child artist when she worked with Michael in Moonwalker. Their relationship had always been very special, both of them were friends for more than 10 years. Parker said in an interview, he is intertwined in all of who I am, I became a dancer because of him, I became an artist because he inspired me to dream, and a writer because he taught me the power of moving people through words and actions. Moonwalker is a 1988 American experimental anthology musical film starring Michael Jackson. Rather than featuring one continuous narrative, the film expresses the influence of fandom and innocence through a collection of short films about Jackson, several of which are long-form music videos from Jackson's 1987 album Bad. The film is named after the dance technique known as the moonwalk, which Jackson was known for performing. Kishaya Dudley Kishaya Dudley is a dancer, model, actress, and choreographer, she appeared as the leading lady in Michael Jackson's later work, namely, You Rock My World in 2001, which would final video with a leading lady before his 2009 death. Directed by Paul Hunter, the video from the album Invincible was a true killer. You Rock My World is a song from Michael Jackson's 10th and final studio album, Invincible, 2001. It was released as the lead single from the album on August 22, 2001, by Epic Records. Lisa Dean Vogue cover girl Lisa Dean was known affectionately as Dirty Diana after she and her killer legs appeared in the Dirty Diana video. The legs on Michael Jackson's 1987 music video Dirty Diana belonged to Lisa Dean. She was chosen over hundreds of girls who auditioned for the role. Dirty Diana is the ninth track on Jackson's seventh studio album, Bad, 1987. The song was released by Epic Records on April 18, 1988, as the fifth single from the album. It presents a harder rock sound similar to Beat It from Thriller, 1982, and a guitar solo played by Steve Stevens. Sophia Bautella Sophia Bautella is a really popular name in Hollywood for her works in The Mummy, Atomic Blonde, Kingsman, The Secret Service, and many more films. But you may not know that she is the dancer of Hollywood Tonight released in 2011. Although MJ wasn't there for the music video, his presence is there. Interestingly, Sophia was selected for This Is It with Jackson but couldn't make it to the rehearsals. Hollywood Tonight is a song included on Michael Jackson's posthumous album, Michael. The song was released by Epic Records on February 11, 2011, as the second single from Michael. Vanessa Sandin Pepsi Commercial Model Vanessa Sandin plays a dream girl in singer Michael Jackson's newest commercial for Pepsi Cola. Michael starred in a special advert for Pepsi, where he chased a woman through a dream world. Pepsi Generation Commercial, The Dreams was shooted on May 13, 1992, directed by Joe Pitka. Filmed at Culver City Studio in California and centered around scenes from Michael's Dangerous album to promote it. Stay tuned. In the next few videos, we're going to take a deeper look at every single leading lady in Michael Jackson's iconic music videos.
because I just can't.